Hi pipe smokers, this is Paul the Pipe Guy, live on YouTube from Rochester, New York, and I want to talk about cleaning your pipes, and especially the stems uh, on the pipe. Um, let's say you get a vintage pipe, all right, uh, I'm going to pick one out of my rack. Uh, let's just grab this one here, all right, so you get this vintage pipe. And it has some patina to it and so forth. And let's say if the stem is a little bit oxidized or whatever. Um, in my opinion, unless you're totally going to refinish the pipe, which, again, in my opinion, if you're going to strip everything down, I, I just think that devaluates an antique pipe. I mean, we're talking pipes that are 80, 90, 100 years old. And uh, so basically, here's my take on it. Um, in cleaning the stems on the pipe, okay, I soak them in OxyClean in warm water. I have a video on that. So if you want to, you can go back and through my videos and it shows how I clean my stems. But... Uh, after I clean them, they come out basically very dull looking, extremely dull looking. And uh, so basically what I do is I take some extra fine steel wool. I'll go down like so with the extra fine steel wool, go across the end of the pipe where your lips touch. And uh, I'll do that, and you have to make sure that you use extra, extra fine steel wool. So the thing of it is, if you have a vintage pipe, you're going to want it to, at least I do, look like a vintage pipe. And I'll give you an idea. Here's a K. Woody drinkless. And so what I did is I soaked the stem in OxyClean. For a couple hours and you can look back at my video on how I do that then I took my Everclear with a cleaning brush pipe cleaner got all the gunk out of it so the draw on this is super good now um, and then I looked at it and I was like oh man that's like dull as dull can be do I put it on the polisher now, you have to ask yourself, do you want a brand new shiny looking stem in your vintage pipe that has patina? And for me, I decided, no, 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 no. I'll run over it with a steel wool. I'll polish it up with that. And then I go over it with uh, Decatur uh, pipe polish. It's a hand wax, like it's very similar to chapstick. You could probably rub chapstick on there and do the same thing. So it takes it from an extremely dull finish. So it's OxyClean first, then uh, hit it with extra fine steel wool to take some of the roughness off. And then now what you have, and I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of a semi-gloss stem. And it just matches perfect with the vintage pipe. That's my take on it. I, uh, I don't want a brand new shiny stem that I can see my face in. All right. In my vintage pipe that has, you know, it looks old. I mean, it is old. That has all the patina on it. So you take the pipe with the shank that has all that patina, even though you've hand rubbed it, maybe with Decatur's pipe hand wax. But then you put a brand new looking like stem on it. It, it, in my opinion, it clashes. But that's just my opinion. You do what you want to do.
Anyways, that was just a thought from Paul the Pipe Guy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and I want to hear the comments. I try to answer my, everybody's comments every day. And, uh, you know, you guys are important to me. Uh, we share a passion in the pipe smoking. And um, so send any comments or questions that you have. If you have something to add to what I'm saying, or if you think I'm wrong or whatever, send it. Post it on my YouTube channel. You know, I'll respond. I'm very open-minded. Um, and that's how you learn, by being open-minded. You learn about this and other things in life. So, semi-gloss finish on the stem with the vintage pipe. Matches perfect. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, and happy smoking. Over and out.